Welcome everybody who has come to hear the word. Um, I did two messages, one describing um, that possibly you might have the spirit of Leviathan against your life, building a stronghold within you or against you, around you, surrounding you, speaking against you, speaking terrible things against you, like um, fibromyalgia or confusion, addiction, uh, suffering in your life. And I did a message on what I know to get rid of the evil spirits. Um, at first resort, you should pray and ask the Lord always. And at last resort, you should pray and ask the Lord always because the Lord should be your first and your last. And in the middle. <clears throat> now, um, the Holy Spirit said that there were people praying and believing that um, what the Lord had given to the apostles, he had not given to anyone else. There are people who believe out there, out here in this world, that what was given to the apostles, they cannot receive. They believe that they cannot receive the Holy Spirit. And I believe that to be a lie from the devil. I want to make that clear that I think that the devil has lied to you. He has crept in and he has lied to you and made you believe that only apostles could get this gift of the Holy Spirit. So it was pointed out to me in the book of Jude and it is short. So we have time. And I have here in my small pocket Bible this small message from Jude just before Revelation. Very important for your life. The general epistle of Jude. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called mercy unto you in peace and love be multiplied beloved when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. That was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into this viciousness, in denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. That's the day once the Lord returns. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion and speak evil in dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring about against him 
a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuked thee. That is uh, Jude 9, by the way, Jude 1, 9. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beast in those things, they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the great gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feast of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withered without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Raging waves, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. Wandering stars to whom is reserved to, black, to the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be markers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the spirit, but ye, beloved, building up yourselves of your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And some have compassion, making a difference. That's uh, verse 22. And others save with fear. Fear is respect. Let it not be confused with fear from the evil spirit, but fear of the Lord. Pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. The only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. I'm hoping by having read that small message from Jude that any question that you had any doubt in your heart, anything brought to your mind, making you to believe that you do not and have not received the Holy Spirit.
that you go and you read this book, the book of Jude. It's a small message. It's not that long. And it'll let you know that you can indeed receive the Holy Spirit. You can indeed receive the gifts from God that he gave to the apostles. He also has the same for you. He has salvation for you. He has freedom for you. I myself, I have issues of my own, just as Paul had issues of his own, just as Peter had issues of his own, just as many apostles had issues of their own, just as many disciples, just like every single human being on this earth has issues of their own. But I believe that the Lord thy God, Jesus Christ, who died for my sins and died for me, he is my freedom. And he is your freedom too. And if you have not received him, he can be your freedom. If you have not received Jesus Christ, the prayer is simple. And you say, Father God in heaven, I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for my sins and that you sent the Holy Spirit to be my comforter and I receive the Holy Spirit within me so that I'll be guided all the days of my life. And on the day of return of the Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that I will go to heaven. I repent of my sins and I turn away from them. The old man, I turn away from the old man. That's your old self who you were before you got saved. You turn away from your old self and you are new again. Praise God, whom all blessings from. I didn't say it in the beginning, but Shalom. And I'll say it in the end, Shalom. May God be with you. I pray that he put his face, his name upon you, and that you be blessed in all your days. Shalom.